As we live in this digital age, it can really feel like you have the world at your fingertips, but that often means your data is at the world's fingertips too. Proposed legislation would protect kids' online privacy, but politics could get in the way. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug joins us live in the Digital Center with the latest. Sierra. Well, Deanna, Senate Bill 361 passed in both the Virginia House and Senate. As initially written, this legislation focuses on protecting kids younger than 13. The governor wanted to up the ante, protecting all minors, but ultimately, Senate leaders rejected his recommended changes. Some parents take a hands-on approach to monitoring what their child is up to online. But these days, websites and data companies can do the same. Good luck trying to protect your information about your location that could be sold to other folks. Senate Bill 361 made it through the Virginia General Assembly. Legislators voting to bar websites from accessing and selling data from online users under the age of 13. I think it's important that we take this modest first step. But after reviewing the proposed legislation, Governor Glenn Youngkin recommended legislators raise the stakes by raising the age, protecting all kids under 18 years old. The majority of the Senate disagreed with his proposed changes. I's 19, those 20 Governor's recommendations are rejected. At least one representative vocalizing that they felt this amendment was too ambitious. Last week's narrow vote sending the legislation back to the governor's desk in its initial form. Republican Senator David Suterline spoke out. We'll continue to say under Virginia law that as soon as you have your 13th birthday on the internet, your social data privacy you're an adult. He wanted the Senate to support Youngkin's changes, arguing those younger than 18 deserve the same privacy as younger minors. Information about what sort of things you might be looking at, that can be sold to other folks. But Democratic Senator Skylar Van Valkenburg fears it's not realistic and could create future roadblocks to real progress. He says including older teens in the legislation could prompt legal trouble. I agree in spirit with what the governor's trying to do. The states that have pushed this up to 18 have found themselves in litigation, uh, and I would rather get something on the books that actually governs and moves the ball forward versus be stuck in court. He added that in the future they could reevaluate, but first had to get something attainable signed. Now it's up to Governor Youngkin to either sign or veto the bill as it was originally passed. In a statement, his office reminded leaders he has until May 17th to make a decision. Stick with 8 News for updates. Live in the Digital Center, Sierra Krug, 8 News.